Greetings, greetings, greetings. Peace, love, and light family. I am Sisdy. I'm a spiritualist and a naturalist, and I believe I'm an humble messenger and oracle of the Most High Yah. Sometimes I come to y'all with messages of encouragement. Sometimes those messages are correction or for, for warning, and sometimes they're just general information. And today's message is kind of like correction or for warning to the chosen ones of the Most High Yah, you who are righteous, you who believe that you are spiritual beings, okay? So first of all, let me say welcome, welcome, welcome to all the first time viewers of the channel. I hope and pray to the Most High that you find something encouraging or enlightening or new information that you'll find in this video, okay? So let's jump right on into it. I didn't say, hey y'all, how y'all doing? Sis D is just winging it off the top of my head this morning. So if I'm a little bit disjointed, y'all forgive me, charge it to my head and not to my heart, okay? I'm not going by a script this morning. Had to get this message out to y'all's chosen people. All right, so welcome everyone to the channel. Hey to y'all who have been rocking with me and just in these corners since the very beginning, I do definitely, definitely appreciate you guys, okay? Now, with that being said, now, let's dive on into the topic, shall we? Okay, so since D has been away, life has been real lifey, and stuff is going on, you know, like the rest of us. So, I've been away for a little bit, but I had to get this message out to you guys, all right? So, um, I'm going to just share a little bit of what happened. A young lady that I used to sing with, kind of very excitedly said, hey, Sis D, I have these tickets to this A-lister, entertainer, um, singer, songwriter who's been in the industry probably almost 27, almost 30 years or so, a very long time. Hey, I have tickets. Do you want to go with me? And I was like, of course. This person actually went to university with me, the singer that I'm speaking about actually went to university with me. We were on campus at the same time. And of course, when she was discovered, she actually blew up and didn't graduate, I don't believe, and left our campus. So I said, of course, I'd never seen this artist in person and I definitely wanted to go see her live. So going into that, you guys know the context, okay? So um, Upon getting into this concert, I'm also excited. I used to sing a lot. I used to be a praise and worship leader for many years. I sang in several choirs and quartets and things of that nature. So I love vocalizations, true vocalizations. I like true singers who know how to manipulate the human voice as, um, as an instrument, okay? So with that being said, I go into the concert and the first opening artist does very well, spoken um, spoken word artist, poet, um, musician to to a lot to a larger degree. Okay, so let me say that when the opening act comes on, y'all, let me tell you, two songs in, I begin to get the downloads, and I hope that you guys are able to stick with me because it's going to take me a little bit to build, not much longer. Two songs in. To the opening headliner act, two songs in, Sis D begins to get download and spiritual messages. Y'all ready? Here's the topic for the video today. There is great uncleanness and idolatry in the land. And I'm going to say that for you guys again. There is great uncleanness and idolatry in the land. This video specifically is speaking to those who are believe they are on the path of righteousness. Those who say or know they are a chosen one of the most high. You are a melanated person on this earth. You are here with an assignment and you need every message you can get to stay on the path, right? This message is for you. If you even have any inkling that you are chosen to be on this earth right now to complete an assignment to help humanity vibe higher, this message is for you. The Most High is saying to his people, there is great idolatry. Let me say it again. There is great uncleanness 
and idolatry in the land. Okay. And what the most high was saying to me is uncleanness and idolatry is those old, uh, idols of past and the uncleanness and rituals that went with worshiping them. Y'all they're back in the earth right now. I don't think they ever went anywhere, but they're raising their ugly heads. All right. So when we talk about ancient idols, we're talking about Baal or Baal. Molech, Ishtar, Ashtoreth, Dinah, mm, not Dinah, sorry. Uh, the Greek word Dionysus, which my name comes from, the Greek goddess of wine and fertility. All of those idols and the practices that go with them, the spirits associated with them are back in the earth, y'all. And the uncleanness that goes with them is what we see kind of being acted out in the earth right now. So the God of war, I don't remember his name. I'll try to put it in there. You guys see wars and rumors of war. Yes, that's spoken. But where do you think that comes from? That's a spirit. Y'all, the same gendered activity that's all in a rise. Okay, well, that spirit is associated with an idol and it's activated right now strongly activated it's not just an agenda y'all it is a spirit associated with it the unaliving of your children there is a scripture that says these people cause their their offspring or their children to go through the fires of molech a old idol and the uncleanness the rituals that go with them y'all that comes in the form of terminating your pregnancies, especially if you're far, far, far along. Y'all, those idols and the spirits associated with them are back in the earth. Everything that you see, the pow pows being used goes with an idol. Everything, the theft, the bombing, I'll bleep that. All of the activities that we see in the earth, y'all, they go along. They're associated with an idol and the spirit associated with it. The uncleanness is people don't know that you are actually, when you're participating in these, um, these festivals, concerts, rituals, and you don't even sometimes, people don't even know that they're rituals that go along with the idols. They're just doing things thinking, oh, that's cute. This artist in a concert, I'm giving you an example. This artist in a concert says, say this, 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 this. Y'all, that's a word spill. And you don't even know it. And you're just, you're just going along, but it's a word spill. And we don't even know it. Candles. They don't use candles anymore. Lighters. Fire, all of these things could kind of wrap up into the rituals that go along with idolatry and the cleanness, the rituals, the things that you do to lead up to worshiping an idol. I'll put a picture in here that was up on the, the opening screen, the first or second screen of this opening act that I'll tell you about. And it is directly associated with with a comedic idol. And y'all, I'm not saying anything bad about those who choose to practice any religion or any spiritual practice that they choose to practice. That is your business. However, you can't do both. You can't say, oh, I'm following the most high God, but I'm going to follow comedicism or I'm going to follow Buddhism or I'm going to Serve the Most High God, but I'm also going to dabble in this practice. It doesn't work that way, y'all. And that's the message the Most High is trying to get our attention. You're going to have to choose. And as we see these behaviors ramping up, the violence that's happening in schools and grocery markets, and you see it, you see it. And all of this is Spirits being reactivated through these idolatrous acts. You see it manifesting itself in the earth. 
And as we as believers, you have to choose. You have to choose. Are you going to serve the most high? Or are you going to serve an idol? But you can't serve both. No man can serve two masters. I have to make a decision. So I hope with that, I hope that this message reaches you, that you guys were able to hang in there with me till the end to actually get what I was saying. I'll post some scriptures, of course. I'll post some pictures, of course. You guys go do your research on the ancient idols and the so-called small G gods and small G goddesses that were worshipped back in the day. And then see if what he is saying, test it, try it, pray about it. If you believe in the most high, pray about all things, okay? With that being said, I'm going to say thank you, thank you, thank you for taking time to spend with this day on today. I do greatly appreciate your time, effort, energy because you could have been on anyone else's channel, but you chose to stick it out and stay with me on today. I do greatly appreciate it. To the delightful family, to the vibe of y'all tribe, I see y'all, I see y'all. May the most high bless you, keep you, and be with you on today. And as we go into the furtherance of this week, and I'm going to close on out like I generally always do. By saying vibe up, y'all, vibe up. This is D, and I am out.